See this one? Damn. I think after seeing that, right, I need to sanitize my brain. Uh. It, it does smell like <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the first ever episode of Professor Padas. <laughs> Professor Padas. <laughs> For our first ever episode, we're gonna look at ringgit notes to see what kind of dirty bacteria and fungi we can find on them. The most reliable source of dirty money, my own wallet. 20? B, you got one ringgit. Eh? <laughs> Careful where you point that camera, bro. Yay, nice! To collect some ringgit notes, first I went to a wet market. Thank you. Then I went to a convenience store just downstairs from our office. Totally not suspicious at all. I'm gonna get this money back. And of course, we'll go to a pharmacy too, where the clean and pristine environment will hopefully have the cleanest and pristinest notes. We got it! Part of PJ right now, and we're gonna try and collect some notes from a very high end restaurant. Now that we've collected the notes, we're here at Taylor's University to see what we can find on them. I've brought my dirty money here to the School of Biosciences. I'm Dr. Joey Lai from the School of Biosciences. So basically, I'm teaching the biotechnology module, specialized in the fermentation and the microbiology. Which means growing germs. Yeah, but it's for the good germs. Today, we will do the isolation from the money. I already prepared three different types of the agar. We do have the SDA agar. It is targeted for the yeast. And then this one is the blood agar. It's a very uh, rich nutrients agar. Is it actually blood? Yes, it's a blood. Horse blood or sheep blood agar. Sheep. The sheep. 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 This one is uh, uh, MCA. So this is uh, targeted for the gram negative. So now Dr. Jovi is behind me hard at work. And I do mean hard at work because she has to sanitize her hands, sanitize the bag, sanitize the swab that she's using, swab each node, and then put them into three different agar pools. And then after that, we have to wait one week for the bacteria test to grow. And then after that, we have to wait another week for the fungi test to grow as well. Actually, bacteria is just one day. Yep, these are the microbes we found on our notes after a day. Ugh. So, after a week and a day, all the tests were complete, and we went back to Taylor's bio lab to check out how dirty our ringgit notes were. Before we go into the lab, let's explain what we'll be seeing. We're doing oxidase, catalase, and indole tests and see the combination of the positive and negative results to identify the specific fungi or bacteria, hopefully. So for all the fungus, right? Uh, cultures. Basically, all of them pretty much have yeast. Wow, so nice. Eh? Mm -hmm. Here got uh, more than I think at least seven or eight different types of fungus in here. I think this one is the Aspergillus niger or oligo. We're not saying don't go to a wet market, but a wet market obviously you have a lot of raw products. So please, when you go to a wet market, make sure you clean your hands after you come out. That's it. This is the blood agar, okay? This is like modern art, eh? They're under the hemolysis. All the blood here is gone yes, yes. because whatever is on the agar has eaten the blood. So this is a normal one. Mm. These strapsaw cockles, they're able to produce a very, very variable product. The hyaluronic acid, the cosmetic one. So that is a type of the moisturizing agent. This bacteria, you can get it from the natural source, it's from your spinal cord or get it from the rooster comb. Rooster. Mm. For the MCA, totally different compared to others. It's very mucoid uh, yeah. milk and then like very sticky. This is the crab syrup. You can go to the other parts of your body and then they can uh, act as your super bug, like, like just now you mentioned. For open wounds and that yes. kind of thing. Like. Whoa, it's from a pharmacy! This is very interesting. Also first time, because normally when we culture all those, the bacteria is something like that. Mm. But this is the first time that I see like the crepes. And then there was the oxidase test, which reminded me of a certain horror movie which traumatized my childhood. But thankfully, all the samples were negative. So this one is for the catalase test. Oh, yes. you see that? So this is the catalase positive. Okay, negative. And the results, the very dangerous Staphylococcus, only one sample positive. So uh, this little vial of uh, bird's nest is an indole test. Basically, we're going to drip some stainer inside and if it turns pink, then we know that there's indole inside. 
It's a 50 ringgit note. The one ringgit note is actually relatively clean. I remember that when we collected this from the wet market, there were actually little stains on the one ringgit note, but they weren't on the 50. Appearances can be deceiving. So this is supposed to smell like poop. It, it does smell like poop. <laughs> so we got E. coli, we got Indo, which is fecal matter, Crepsilla, and we got six types of fungi, all, all from the wet market. So we're going to take a look at how these babies look different under the microscope now. The samples look cool under the microscope, but nothing was really moving and we didn't really get any additional results from here. So there. Whew, now that we're done with all the experimenting, we'd like to wrap up by highlighting the other side of bacteria and fungi that some may not know. Uh, you know, like the typical person, when they hear the word bacteria, fungus, it's automatically a negative reaction, right? But can you name like maybe like five things that we use on a regular basis that would not exist if we did not have bacteria or fungi? At the break, the drinks, the yogurt drinks, with the beer. So all those we need the bacteria or the fungus in order to make the food. Without them, maybe the tastes are different and we're unable to make it. So all these are the good side for the microorganisms. Seeing all these results, would you change your behaviour in any way? Yes, I will go for e-wallet. <laughs> Dr. Joey, we'd like to present you with a souvenir, which is the one ringgit that we got from the wet market. Oh, you want D? Ah? Nah, give it D. Ah. Give it. Hey, no, D cannot. 50, no, 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 no. 50, I keep 50, I keep. Okay, thanks guys. We'll see you on the next episode of Professor Badass. Thank you so much. <laughs>